of course, there's several frontiers. So I'll tell you about the frontier that I'm most interested in and perhaps that has also been um, relatively less explored. So we now have a lot of understanding of the measurement of inequality um, and the dimensions of it. Um, but one thing I don't think we have an understanding of is the mechanisms behind inequality. So what's driving inequality? And I'm particularly interested, and I think it particularly is unexplored, is why do we see racial or ethnic um, inequality? So we have these um, empirical results that might say that African Americans have relatively lower income or education than white Americans. And it's usually done with a dummy variable in an equation in the regression. And I want to, I think we should be unpacking that black box. You know, what is going on there that we see these social patterns in inequality? Not just that we see inequality per se, and that's been growing, but why are the social patterns there? Well, I think um, most importantly, um, an economist or young economist should have skills. So you absolutely have to have the um, technical skills um, that are necessary to attack these questions, either from if you're going to be doing more empirical work or more theoretical work. And the other thing I think um, a researcher needs is passion. Uh, the, a deep, a deep um, passion for finding the answer. Because if you don't have this deep passion, then you're going to run out of steam. And so you need both the skills to actually carry out the work and the passion to get you through the very difficult work it is to find answers.